Q and A and advice time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Also, follow up video time as well, all wrapped into one neat little video. Yesterday, I uploaded a discussion video on maintenance and data loss, and a viewer and subscriber to the Backyard Tech Channel here on YouTube, Tanix Optics, posted a question in the comments. Let's see if I can help him out again. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is Q&A and advice time plus follow-up video time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. And yesterday, as I said, I uploaded the discussion video on maintenance and data loss. And Tenex Optics has posted a comment here on that video. But as always, again, Tenex, I keep telling you, mate, more information. You've chopped me short again. Okay, so let me let let me read the comment out to you. Um, he's got a two terabyte hard drive with data loss on it. Uh, he plugs it into the computer. The computer recognizes it, but sees multiple partitions. Can't access any of the data. The drive is an external hard drive that is used to back up his desktop computer. Now you know what I know. So I've got no idea if it's eSATA, USB two, USB three whether it's a, or what it is. I don't know if it's a two terabyte mechanical or two terabyte SSD. I've got no idea. He does it to me every time. Okay, so now you guys know what I know. So now let's see if I can help him out. Okay. Is it possible for a hard drive to create its own multiple partitions without human intervention? Ordinarily, no. That is impossible. Unless the drive is so badly corrupt that both sectors, clusters and cylinders are all over the countryside. So, the other thing he hasn't told me is he, I've got no idea what his desktop runs. I don't know whether it runs Unix, Linux or Windows. No idea. Hasn't told me it. So, Let's take the easy way out on this, and let's assume it runs Windows. Don't know what version of Windows, we'll just say it won't run some sort of reasonably current version of Windows, okay? Um, but he can't see the data. Well, the problem there lies in the fact that if, if there's multiple partitions on that drive, and you plug it into Windows, and Windows can see it, it means that it can probably see a FAT32 partition or an NTFS partition. Now, if you can't get the data off it, it means that partition is corrupt. However, if you have multiple partitions and say they're all FAT32 partitions and you can't get the data off, it means the whole hard drive is corrupt. <sighs> so how do you fix the problem? It's not easy. You do have a couple of options. One, if you have a Linux machine, you can try and jam the hard drive into a Linux machine and pull the data off that way, assuming your Linux machine's got more than two terabytes of storage space. You can jam it into a Unix machine, so something like FreeBSD, GhostBSD, um, Solaris, whatever. Um, pull it in that way and see if you can get all the data that way. Again, the host hard drive would need to have more than two terabytes of space, especially if the drive's full. Now, if you have hit the 10 percentile mark of storage, that can create trouble. Um, if you have used the drive on multiple computers using multiple different um, partition tables, You've then got to work out which computer you created the partition table on and pull the data back that way. Other than that, it's basically format, the, format, redo the drive from scratch. Delete all the partitions on it and start again. 
Um, like I said, it's very hard ordinarily for a hard drive to create its own partition table without human intervention. I mean, you have to tell a hard drive what you want it to do when you're partitioning up a drive. I mean, the drive just doesn't automatically decide to create multiple partitions. The spanner in the works there, of course, can be if the drive is badly corrupted. And I mean badly corrupted. That can be a problem, a big problem. But like I said, 10x, I really wish you'd give me more information. I really do. Other people give me a heap of information. You tend to chop me short on stuff. Okay, so with your two terabyte, again, you haven't told me whether it's SSD or mechanical. What, and, and what I would be inclined to do is say, the drive is stuffed, delete it all, reformat the whole thing, so kill all the partitions. Use something like, um, I don't know, ESA's Partition Manager or even use Windows if you're running Windows. I don't know if you're running Windows. You haven't told me what your desktop PC runs. Um, and delete it all. Um, Linux and Windows machines, sorry, Unix and Linux machines will see all partitions, whether they be FAT32, whether they be NTFS, whether they be EXT4, VFAT4, VFAT6, um, EXT6, whatever, okay, REFS if, ne if necessary. Um, if you're desperately wanting to get the data off, use a Unix or a Linux machine to do it, be your simplest goal. Um, if all the partitions are Windows, or, I mean, <laughs> there's a myriad of things that can go on here. Um, okay, so, I think the best thing to do for you, Tanix, would be to basically destroy everything on the drive and start again. I mean, the only other way you, if it's created multiple partitions is you would have had to have created the multiple partitions yourself. I've never seen a hard drive just create its own partitions, whether it be internal or external, unless the drive is that badly corrupted. And then there's data and partition tables all over the country. So either which way, the drive is just about knackered. Okay, so... It's very hard to do these videos with very little information. It really is. Um, I think Tanix cut your losses and just trash the whole drive and start again. Delete every partition on the drive using some sort of partition system. Like I said, whether you use um, Windows' uh, storage management snap-in or you use Linux, Gparted, or Unix with Gparted, or, or something like that. Okay. Something along those lines. Um, to fix the drive. My, my, my thing is, though, Tanix, is that if you can plug it into the computer, you can't get the data off. It may be just a case of that one of those multiple partitions you said you've got is corrupt. Um, that, that, I, you, you may as well just cut your losses and clean up the whole drive, delete it all completely um, and start again. That, that's, that's the only thing I can give you. Um, I mean... It's, it's, it's extremely hard to do these videos when he doesn't give me a lot of information. Um, the fact that the computer can see it with multiple partitions but you can't get the data is a little bit confusing. Because you should be able to get some data from one of the partitions somewhere. 
but if you're in real trouble, use a Linux or a Unix machine and pull the data back that way and then trash the drive and start it all over again. Hopefully that helps you out. I'm sorry I can't be of more information, guys, but 10x, I keep telling you this, mate, more information. You chop me short every time. So, that's the best I can probably do. Stick around, plenty coming up on the channel today. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.